Great, so now we're moving into the last section of the CSS part of the course. And we're going to be moving on from looking at colors and divs and layouts um, and more looking at text and the things that we can do with text with CSS. So we'll start with changing the font of text, which is something we haven't done at all yet. So I'm going to get rid of the content that we've got here. And we're just going to have a very simple paragraph with the good old, this is some text. Okay, let's refresh that. Great. There we go. So how do we change the font of that text? It's pretty easy. We use a CSS instruction. We're going to refer to all P elements for the moment because we don't have any classes or IDs. And we use the font family attribute. Oops. Okay, now there are various different types of fonts. I'm going to show you the list on W3Schools. Um, you can find that list at this address, but I'll link to it in the docs for the course as well. So um, font family, here we go. You've got two different types of fonts. Um, I'm not going to go into great details about um, fonts in, in general, but there are serif fonts and there are sans serif fonts. So the serif fonts tend to be ones that have um, little, what are known as serifs. So they're little bits that sort of come out of the edge of the, the letter there. The idea is that they lead your eye on to the next letter and make the font more readable. More popular um, and common in websites uh, these days is to use sans serif fonts. Um, they tend to look a little bit more modern. The final type there is monospace fonts like Courier, which you um, often use when you're coding um, because they have all of the characters are exactly the same width, whereas most other fonts are not going to be the same width. So um, if you write two lines with the same number of letters but different uh, characters in them, in these two fonts, those two lines will have different lengths, whereas in a monospace font, they won't. They'll be the same length. So normally we're focusing on serif or sans serif fonts. So let's have a look at the different types. Um, these are what's known as web safe fonts. So if you use these fonts, you're going to be guaranteed that any browser that the user is using is going to have those fonts. Now there are various ways to add extra fonts into um, your website if the ones here are not are not what you want or you want to use something else, but we'll go into that later on in the course. We won't look at that right now. Um, so you've got a nice list there looking at the sans serif ones. We've got Arial um, and Arial Black, etc, etc. Cetera, et cetera. You can read those for yourself. Now you will notice that all of them have um, a font name and then a more general font name and then the type of font there. Now the reason for that is when, when you state your font, um, you have these second and third and in some case fourth options as a backup. So if in the unlikely event that the browser doesn't have this particular font, then it will look for this font. And if it doesn't have that font, it will look for that font. And if it won't doesn't have that font, it will look for, in this case, just a generic serif font. So that means that even if the machine that the, your user is using doesn't have the font that you want them to use, it'll have the closest possible um, font to that. So that's why we have several different font instructions, and they tend to be just so that they're backups if the user doesn't have the main the font that you actually want. So let's try um, some of these out. You'll notice that the default option that we use is a serif font um, there. So let's try a sans serif one. I'm just going to copy and paste here um, so that it's clear that I've um, got it right. But I don't want to copy and paste that one because that's a serif font. So let's copy and paste this Arial. OK, so I want the font family to be Arial. And um, if we haven't got our Arial, we'll use, we'll use um, Helvetica, and then we'll use just a sans serif font if we haven't got that. So let's see what effect that has. Hey, so we've got a nice sans serif font there. I think that's a bit nicer to look at myself. It's definitely more modern, um, in many ways more stylish than the, the font that we had before. 
So there's not much more to say really about fonts. Um, I would take a couple of um, couple of minutes to just try out a few of these fonts from the W3 schools. Just type them in um, or copy and paste them and um, see how they look um, with um, with the different fonts.